We're turning a plastic radio flyer wagon into a replica of Lewis and Clark's 1804 Corps of Discovery keelboat. That's me as Captain Meriwether Lewis, and this is my co-captain Oliver, who will play the part of brave William Clark as we march around the neighborhood in our annual 4th of July parade. Oliver is riding in the boat, manning the poop deck, if you know what I mean. He pooped himself. According to his journal, Meriwether Lewis had to wait a month in Harper's Ferry for the completion of the original keelboat. Luckily, ours didn't take nearly that long once we procured a little lumber and other things lying around the garage. Now, Sacagawea, meaning my wife, and the brains of our operation, never likes me tearing things up and repurposing them for my weird projects. But in the true spirit of Lewis and Clark, I say if you've got it, use it. So the first thing I did was detach the pole from the wagon. I'll worry about how to put it back later. Sorry, honey. Next, I used a couple small 2x4s to create a center reinforcement for where the mast will go. We had an old washer's game box that fit perfectly as the bow and stern. Then, I took three slats of 2.5 inch by 3 foot pine boards and screwed them in on each side. Remember, this is just a parade float. It doesn't have to actually float. Next, I cut a small particle board triangle to complete the sides. Now, Captain Clark needs a cover to protect him from the elements, since he refuses to wear his coonskin hat. So I took a wire yard sign frame and inserted it into the seat. Then I used masking tape to make a shade for my little explorer. The mast is just a one inch board secured to the middle yoke we made. Another board made the boom across. Hooks and brass grommets held some rolled up canvas for the sail. And then I ran some old rope through the endpoints using metal eyelets. I anchored the rope to the bow. Due to city ordinances, no cannons were allowed. So we mounted one of the kids' toy telescopes to the front using a Lazy Susan swivel and a large screw eye bolt. A little electrical tape kept it tight. It's said that Lewis stocked up on over 3,500 pounds of equipment in preparation for his journey. So here's the fun part. I added a jug, a little hammer, made to look like a hatchet, and some wooden pinwheels for decoration. Don't forget a flag up top and one for the stern. On July 4th, 1804, Lewis and Clark issued the men a double ration of whiskey and they shot their cannon off at what is now Independence Creek in Kansas. So, as you can see, not much has changed in our July 4th celebration since then. Hopefully, you too can incorporate a bit of our national heritage into your own patriotic celebrations. Thanks for watching.